If your printer is not working on your Windows computer, maybe you can't connect to it or it's connected but it's just not working in general, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to show you some simple troubleshooting steps to fix any issues you may be experiencing with your printer. The first thing we're going to do is run the Windows troubleshooter by heading to the start menu and searching for troubleshooter. Tap on the troubleshoot settings icon and then you need to come down to other troubleshooters and then we want to select the run button next to the printer troubleshooter. This is going to scan your computer and try to identify any problems that you may be having with your printer. We can then come back to our start menu and search for device manager. Tap on the device manager icon and then expand this print queue section by hitting the little arrow next to it. And inside of here you should see something called Microsoft print to PDF. We need to right click on this and what we're going to do is select update driver and then you can just press search automatically for drivers. As you can see here I already have the latest drivers installed for my device but if it does detect any outdated drivers then simply install it through this page here. We can then close out of these windows and next thing we're going to do is come back to the start menu and search for settings and tap on the settings icon. Come all the way down to where it says Windows Update and you need to make sure you're running the latest version of Windows. As you can see here, I've got an update available. If you don't see an update in here, just click the check for updates button and ensure you're running the latest version of Windows. We can then close out of this and we're gonna come back to the start menu and search for run. Tap on the run icon. Inside of this search box, you need to type in services.msc, then hit enter. Now inside of this list, you wanna look for a service called print spooler. And then once you've found print spooler, just double click on it. As you can see here, the service is currently running. You just need to press this stop button for a second to stop the service. So as you can see, this file on my computer is located in the C drive, underneath Windows, underneath System32, and then we should be able to find the file. So we're just gonna come over to our file explorer, head over to the C drive, scroll down to find the Windows folder, then scroll down till you find a folder called System32. Come inside of here. Then you need to come inside of this folder called Spool, inside of Printers. You may get this warning message saying you don't have permission to access this folder. Just press continue. And then you need to delete all of the files inside of this this folder by selecting all and then hitting the trash icon. We can then come back over to our services tab and then double click on print spooler again and you just want to restart this service by clicking the start button. Then we can press ok and close down all of these windows and you need to come back to the start menu, search for control panel and tap on the control panel icon. Make sure the view by here is set to category and then click where it says view devices and printers. Scroll down till you see printers and scanners and click that. And then inside of here, you'll see all of the printers that are currently connected to your computer. You just wanna make sure the printer you're using is set to the default printer. To do this, select your printer and then at the top here, just click set as default. Now, the last thing we can do is come back to our start menu and search for CMD. Right click on the command prompt and make sure to run as administrator. And then inside of here, you're just gonna type in the following command, sfc space slash scan now, and then hit enter. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna scan all of your core Windows system files, and it's gonna repair anything that may be corrupt or broken. Give this a few minutes to complete, and then that should have fixed any issues you may be having with your printer. But if you still are experiencing problems, then there is likely an issue with the actual hardware, and I'd recommend checking all of your connections and ports to ensure they are securely connected. If this video did help you, please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.